That's according to an update from the National Hurricane Center. Wind speeds in the massive storm are expected to reach at least 115 miles per hour by this afternoon. The Hurricane Center says Helene's storm surge could potentially climb to 20 feet along some parts of the coast. Much of the southeast will be affected, including us here at home. Five states are currently under emergency declarations, Florida, Georgia, North and South Carolina, and Virginia. According to one hurricane expert, Helene is forecast to grow into one of the largest storms in the Gulf of Mexico over the last century. Well, let's find out exactly what Helene is doing right now at this time. David's been looking at the latest update, the track on this. It's still a Category 1, David, but it doesn't sound like it's going to stay that way for very much longer. Yeah, the problem is it is a big Category 1, very wide. Winds of 90 miles an hour moving northeast at 12. Then as we track it into the future, look at how wide the system is going to be. It is going to be stretching about 450 miles across tropical storm force winds, making landfalls Category 3 this evening. Still Category 1 hurricane over Albany, Georgia. Then racing our way, the center going to our west. We're getting tropical rains out ahead of it, and then the core of the system moves in our region Friday morning. Downpour, strong gusty winds that we're picking up tonight into tomorrow. We need some trees down and power outages. Full forecast. Today and tomorrow, both Storm Track 5 weather alert days for the flood risk. We could end up with a top five rainfall storm total over three days. And gusty winds will be picking up tonight and lasting through much of the day on Friday. Yesterday, the total 2.65 inches, a daily rainfall record, the old record 1.38. Storm total now at about three and a half inches. We have a surplus for the year, so that deficit has been completely erased. Rain still coming down this morning, 64 degrees. Visibility low in some of these uh, steady rains. Uh, most of it light to moderate, but there are a few pockets of heavier rain here in the yellow and especially oranges and the reds. Tracking into the future, a steady stream of rain throughout the day, so flooding conditions uh, continuing or getting worse in many locations. Still rain fairly persistent all the way through this evening, maybe some breaks later tonight. Severe threat tracker in extreme category for today and tomorrow for multiple impacts. Scattered flooding today, isolated mudslides, and then tonight and tomorrow gusty winds that could lead to some power outages and trees down. Rain tapers off midday tomorrow, but flooding continues and the river flooding actually could get worse through the day tomorrow. Finally, quieter weather on Saturday with just a chance of scattered light showers. There's the wind picking up tonight and then tomorrow morning, gusts in the valleys 40 to 55 miles an hour, gusts in the mountains 55 to 65 miles an hour, maybe more on the mountaintops, maybe closer to 80 miles an hour. Then the winds finally relax Friday evening into Friday night. So here's the gusts for tomorrow morning and the tri cities. Notice the gusts around 40 to 50 miles an hour from around 7 a.m. to noon tomorrow. Strong gusty winds as Helene pushes through. And there's also a low end risk of an isolated tropical tornado. A, a brief spin-up tornado can't be ruled out in the area tomorrow. Back to the flood threat today. It's a significant risk over much of the viewing area over the Tri-Cities. An extreme risk. North Carolina mountains and also watching the rivers and streams that come out of North Carolina. And still a significant risk of flooding North Carolina mountains tomorrow. And here's the big picture showing several flood warnings going on now. This is a steady stream of tropical moisture extends all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. Helene actually off the picture. And as we track it into the future, that stream of moisture continues tonight. But some downsloping winds may bring a brief break of rain to some locations. Then here comes the core of Helene. Friday morning, 7 a.m., 10 a.m., tropical downpours and gusty winds. The core blows through Friday afternoon. Just a small chance for some spotty rain after that and some breaks in the clouds. Winds relax. The core of the system to our west, weakening Saturday, moves back in with only some scattered light showers Saturday afternoon. Additional rainfall totals through tomorrow, an additional one to three inches for many. Mountain areas, though, can see an additional three to nine inches, those heavier totals on the North Carolina side. For tomorrow in the Tri-Cities, wind and rain tapering, the, wind, the rain tapers off midday, and sunshine later tomorrow afternoon, so looking forward to that. But today, rain heavy in spots, rumble thunder possible, I have 72, winds pick up tonight with periods of rain. Here's a seven-day forecast. Tomorrow, the wind and rain taper off late. Only a 30% chance of spotty rain Saturday afternoon. Scattered light showers Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Not concerned about flooding. Clearing out, drying out, less humid, and turning cooler on Wednesday.